Today I'm gonna to make a fiberglass fin panel and I put a poll out to see what type of fin set everyone would like to see. And the fin set that had the most votes was a twin fin. So I'm gonna turn this panel into a couple twin fin sets and then in future videos I'll make the other sets. But I have my 36 layers of six ounce pre-cut, which is gonna give me a little bit thicker than I need. But where I haven't done a panel in a long time, I wanna have a little bit more fiberglass than I need. And on this set, I'm gonna do two colors and I only have blue and red, so that's what I'm gonna go with. And I'm gonna try alternating the color every three layers. So I'm gonna jump into laying up this panel. For this panel, I wanted to experiment with a new technique and I wanted to separate every three layers of fiberglass with a sheet of plastic. And what I'm hoping to do is lay up all my red panels first and let those get tacky. And then I'll hopefully be able to lay up my blue panels in between those. So I'm gonna mix up my red resin and start laying up my glass. Because I'm laying up on a flat sheet of glass, I'm gonna put a little resin down first, and this is gonna help make sure there's no air trapped beneath the first layer of fiberglass. It also helps pull the resin from the top down to the bottom and makes it a little easier to lay out your glass. With my first three layers of fiberglass wet out, I'm gonna carefully place my first sheet of plastic on top and squeeze out all the air bubbles. The little creases in the plastic, I'm hoping are gonna get flattened out when I do each layer of glass. And hopefully it'll go nice and flat. But if not, I'm hoping the blue layers will fill in and hopefully I won't get any air bubbles in the final lamination but we'll have to wait and see how it turns out. I was hoping I'd be able to catch my panel while it was still tacky, but it cured too much. So I had to wait for it to fully cure, and then I'm just gonna sand in between each layer. And this is to make sure I get a good bond, and I'm just using a little bit of 80 grit, and I'm just gonna make sure there's no shiny spots left on each layer. With all the red panels sanded, I'm gonna start my blue layers and I'm gonna spread a little bit of resin on each side of the red panel and then I'll do my three layers of fiberglass, place a red panel, and then I'll do three more layers and then red panel and so on until I have all my layers laid up. Once I had all my layers laid up, I decided to place another piece of glass on top just to give it a little bit of weight so it'll hopefully press out any bubbles that may be between the layers of fiberglass. Once my panel cured, I decided to trim the edges off so it was a little easier to work with and it would be easier to cut out my fin templates out of the panel. To draw out my fins, I'm using a thin MDF template and a nail just to scratch the shape of the fin into the panel. And I'm gonna to try to draw out my fins so that I can maximize the use of the panel. 
I'm not gonna do the entire panel with this template, but I am gonna do a couple sets so I can play with different cans. With all my fins roughly cut out, I decided to double-sided tape them to my fin template and try the spiral router bit to trim them to the exact shape. And this worked really well. I did have to slow down my router a little bit so that it would give me good sized chips and not generate too much heat. These fins are for future fins boxes, so I'm gonna have to cut the angle of the tab into the fin. So I'm gonna use my router jig and I'm gonna set my first angle at four and a half degrees. And this is gonna be for one set that's a little more upright than the other. And I'm just gonna use my router to cut the angle. For my second set, I'm going with a little more common of an angle, which is 6 degrees, so I'm going to reset my jig and router it out. With the fin tabs cut to the correct thickness, I'm going to sketch out where the notches are on the tab so that I can cut them out. With the fin tabs cut out into the final thickness, it's time to foil the fins. After I foiled the fins, I took the random orbital sander and smoothed everything out and went through the grits and then polished the fins. And sure enough, they had bubbles in them. It was something I was definitely worried about once I saw the red layers warped with the thin plastic. It made it really hard to foil because I knew I couldn't trust the layers and I really had to trust just my technique on them. And you can see some of them, like there's some weird warping in them which is like a neat effect, but it's not very good. The other thing with the warping, it made the panel thicker and thinner in different spots. So it really messed with your eyes when you were trying to foil it. There are a lot of little imperfections in these. It's not enough that I'm not gonna go out and try and surf them, but it's definitely a learning experience and I'll try a different technique next time, either with thicker plastic, like an acrylic sheet, or I'll do each layer on its own glass panel or I'll go the really long route and do each layer one at a time and let it cure between each color. But for now, I'm gonna take these out and give them a surf. So stay tuned for the next video.